Welcome to another Warframe video. I'm Jason, also known as Vapes and Games, and I welcome you all once again. So here we are. We're going to be trying out a slightly different format today. I've had some feedback that people would prefer a slightly shorter video. So we're going to be trying that out today. And we're also now set up and recording in illustrious 4K. So I hope it looks beautiful. It does on my end, certainly. We're going to start off today with our customary checking of the old friends and inbox. So we have got 12 people online. No friends requests actually today, although it is only four hours after the last video. Uh, so highly doubtful that we would have anyone else add us at this short stage in time. We got another gift from the gift master. Buzzard 16. Essential electricity damage mod bundle. A very generous uh, mod bundle there from Buzz 16, who's been an avid follower of the channel and somebody who's been helping me out immensely along my journey. We're not going to be spending too much time here today on the ship. We are going to literally be a quick tickety-boo here, tickety-boo there, and out on the road, so to speak. Ready to kick bottom. Bottom. Um, so I know people are like, no, don't use the out upgrade, don't use the out upgrade. But for the sake of time, we are going to use it. And I know it's going to trigger you. I do apologise. Cadius. Oh, we should be able to get a damage upgrade here. Actually. Cold damage. A melee damage. Cold. Do we not have the fire damage here? Molten impact. Heat. 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 Molten impact is actually uh, a six. Interesting. So the fire damage ones are slightly more expensive. I think that's due to the fact that they're so popular uh, with the dot damage and the bypassing of certain uh, defensive mechanics in the game. We're going to jump straight into this one. And we're going to be uh, completing the Neptune Junction. Is this possible for us to do yet? Okay. So, yeah, again, we do have that problem where we did skip over slightly, uh, which is causing a bit of an abnormality with where the map's actually currently taking us. So, we got the Deadlock Protocol, Stolen Dreams, while within. So, we are going to just have a little bit of a look. So to do the series jun junction, we've got to defeat the Sergeant Illad, Illad on Phobos. So we are going to make our way actually up to this node just here. So we are going to do these missions, I believe, to unlock our way through to the boss here so we can unlock the next node your mission is to break into enemy oh no he's another one of these spy missions Edna. Edna. I don't like him <laughs> I do like them, but I don't like them. They're fun, but they're bloody hard, right? I mean, we got to be in agreement on something here, right? So we're going to push our way through here. Check out the security camera. Just like a sir. 
Be on the lookout for increased security measures. The enemy would rather destroy their data than let it get into our hands. They would. And I know that first bloody hand. Oh shit, dude. The fuck? Oh shit, here we go. Oh, we got bloody alarms going off. So, I've been looking into the spy frames that people have been referring to. We are now recording in 4K and we are looking at uh, a short view time on the videos to help out people digest the content in a more palatable man manner. So, I hope that we can get a good edit down here. Keep everyone happy. I am checking on board everything that people are. Oh, what the? Stop it. Stop it. Jesus. Oh, God. Here we go. Boom. Whoa, Carpus Treasurer. What? Who's this dude? Where are you? Get here, you little shit. What the? Ah, motherfucker. Is this the treasure that people have told me about? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Kiki's down. We're gonna try and get her back up before we die. So we did set down the treasurer but what did that actually get us he was really hard to kill actually holy shit i've also had some people asking about the intro music whilst i'm on the ship uh that music is from the world of warcraft odst uh, ost official soundtrack now the reason why i like to use that in my videos is because they are very long, continuous tracks that are about an hour long. They're quite easy to overlay as background music. Uh, the only reason I've not been using the official Warframe is because some of the tracks are literally only about two to three minutes long. Uh, and they're a real pain uh, when you're making content and you want a bit of ambient background music on a video. They can be a little bit uh a little bit useless uh because you have to basically copy and paste the same track uh keep blending it over and over and over again and it can sound a little bit disjointed uh and not very good um is pretty much the only reason i'm not been using the official warframe music i am looking into trying to get some long form stuff now i'm going to drop uh the warframe team an email later on and just say listen i'm making content for your game uh i'd love to use your official music as background ambient music uh for voiceover and stuff like that uh, but I'm, I'm struggling to find tracks longer than about three minutes uh, and see if they offer up any solution because i'm pretty sure they'll have master tracks that are used in the game. The fuck? Here 
If I release this dude, is he gonna set off alarms though? Oh, we can't do it again because we've not got the coins. That I was told about. Uh, which is a shame. Oh shit, we now got it by the train. But I am interested in taking all the feedback. We're increasing. Blah, 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 blah. Can't get me words out because I just walk up. Uh, we are increasing the quality across the board uh, with the resolution and stuff like that. And uh, try my best every every time we make a video now to improve the quality. Listening to all your comments and all your feedback. Because at the end of the day, who knows better than you guys, the viewers? I think feedback is one of the most important things when you're making content of any kind. Obviously, you're going to get people that are just a bit picky, but uh, I generally go with the maths, so if a lot of people are like, hey, you know, we love your content, but it's a little bit on the long side, you trim it down a little bit. I'm quite happy to try and do that. Obviously, I don't just do what everyone asks, like I, I, I take the ideas on board and try and put me on spinning it and whatnot. And if it does sound like a valid point, then I uh, I try and implement it where I can. Uh, it's been quite quite interesting. Some of the feedback actually, some of it's been pretty good. So keep it keep up the good work. Stay focused. There's a we open heavy these. Unit heavy unit approaching. What the hell is that thing? The hell. Missions are certainly getting a lot more interesting. Now we're on the uh, sort of more difficult planet nodes and whatnot. Things are definitely getting a bit spicy. The hell? Gone through the wall? Uh, which is interesting. One of sort of the thoughts I were having when I was playing the game. I did kind of feel some of the content were a little bit too easy. But it's definitely um, definitely getting harder as we progress. Things are taking a lot longer to kill and a lot more difficult. I'm feeling now gear's gotta be more optimal. Uh, where you shoot them and how you play the maps and stuff. Getting a lot more difficult. Which is good in a way. Keeps things interesting. It's a little bit too easy. It can get a little bit boring. These spy missions are by no means easy. But there are spy frames. Which I don't currently own. We've also got our first prime. That we're going to start leveling up. We are going to be unboxing, uh, unboxing, um, sort of finishing up, uh, what's the word, like manufacturing, making, building the blueprints for some new weapons and some new bits and bats over the next couple of episodes, it's going to be pretty good. I think my auto breach is maxed out. I don't think I can uh, get it any higher. I mean, it... yeah, like that. I don't know if it's just a percentage chance to unlock the doors automatically. I'm not sure if we can push that up anymore because auto, auto unlocking them puzzle doors would be a godsend. I, I know it's doing some of them now, um, but if we could get them all automatically unlocked that would be amazing I 
I really think that would be uh, a bit of a lifesaver, actually. But I'm glad the majority of people are sticking around. And uh, obviously, I made some changes along the way with the content. It's not really sat well with everybody. So I have dialed some of that back. And sort of stuck to what people enjoy and what works. I know a lot of people are of the opinion, oh, it's your content, do what you want with it, but I do I do care what people think, obviously. I want my content to be enjoyed by as many people as possible. We have just set up another alarm here, I think, because we're noob. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. We're getting bounced around like a tennis ball. Oh, boink. What? The? These blue things are well annoying. Um, I don't know what's causing those, like, gravity well things. They're, they're a real pain in the ass. Oh. Oh, shit. They got cameras bloody hidden everywhere, mate. Oh. Is it them that are doing it? What is firing that? They say Moa. I thought one of them then. Well, one of them said Jason Momoa on it. Oh, I'm still can't unlock him. Sorry, bruh. Sorry, bruh. Do 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 Is it me or is like the enemy density getting like really thick on these levels at the moment? It feels like there's so many more enemies now. Maybe I'm not going quick enough. Pick up Kiki here. Looks like things are not settling down. What is this on the floor? It looks important. Do we pick it up? Do we scan it? Oh my god. Jesus. we scan these? Guessing not. What is it though? Maybe it's nothing. I just, I'm so worried like, I, I just walk past shit all the time. People are like, why aren't you picking up? But it is what it is. Where are we going here now? Corpus walkers are heading to your location. Right, we just need to get a move on here. I think the longer we take, the more enemies spawn on this map. Not today, punk. You're nearing the console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. Well, then we better not trigger the alarms, right?
so many enemies, holy shit. All these down here. So I think I'll be condensing down the edits more. Maybe skipping out a lot of the trash packs and stuff. Um, and whatnot. Keeping in what really matters uh, about the content. I know there's a lot of people who just like love the long form stuff, leaving it on in the background, which I get. But there's also a lot of people, a lot of my viewers don't have the time to sit and watch sort of an hour long episode every single day. I do like to do it. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're in trouble. Get it! Down! Not like this. Not like this. Come on. Got it. Jesus. What the hell is this thing? Fuck me. There we go. Beautiful, lovely little spy mission there completed. We are going to look at getting another one whacked out here. So let's have a look how many missions have we got to do. We've got quite a few to work our way around. So we're going to do Sky Rush here on the old Phobos. I'm going to be doing a little bit of farming and whatnot. I think on my live stream as well during the day when I get a chance in between other endeavors that we are currently pursuing. And I'm going to try these new shorter videos. I may do uh, two uploads. And then we're covering both bases on people who like to watch like an hour's worth of content. And people who want to watch the short form. Moral of the story is we're going to keep the content flowing. It's what people want. you got to give people what they want. Fed mind is a happy mind. I don't think this is another spy one here. This is to capture the target one. Okay. Okay. Story's getting really good though. Oh shit! What's going? You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Oh fuck! Here we go. Oh shit! Where are you going? Get back here. Fuck's a gun. Capture him, capture him, capture him. Your soul is mine. Fatality. Look him up. What's all this red stuff? Mission complete. The captive has oh, been shit. to the extraction point. Why can't we get Get off it, boy? The fuck? I'm teleporting about. What's going on? The fuck is that? The hell is a stalker? Never seen one of those before. There we go, another successful mission complete. 
Rhino ranked 27, Gorgon ranked 28, Caddis ranked 13, and Kraken ranked 7. There's some morphics and plastics, ammo drum and trick mag. Quite a nice little bit of loot there. And if we can, we're going to try and squeeze one more in here. We don't want to be doing a survival, rescue, mobile defense. Uh, we can probably squeeze in a rescue here. Oh my god. I'm bouncing all over the world. I've noticed when I first wake up in the morning if I come on early, like my movement is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Uh, but I do like to get on early. Early bird catches the worm and all that good jazz. We we'll keep moving through it. Looking like it wants us to be quick. Yeah. Not good, not good. Oh no. What time do we have? Oh, let's go. I'm a bit indifferent about this Gargon rifle. It's okay. Uh, I hate the reload speed on it though. I don't, I don't mind the way it shoots. It's just the reload speed. Oh my god, these doors. The execution sequence. Oh, that's new. So how the hell do we get in there? This is the real question. How do we get in? How do we get in there? Oh, okay. It's like a green gate there. Do we disable this gate? Um, uh oh. Meow. Hostages in one of these cells. Well, we're gonna save them, dude. Oh shit, more puzzles. I knew you would come. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's get the fuck Subject out of here. You need to bring the captive to safety. Let's go. Protect them at all costs. Most having found her. With my life, I protect your sacred crowd. My God. All right, let's get out of here, man. Yeah. Go, let's go, let's go. I wonder if the fact that she's using my gun levels it up. That'd be pretty dope. May your desire blossom, thief. And with it and there we go. A successful extraction Tenno. Rank 27. Now on Rhino 29. 7. 14. The pistol is proving a little bit difficult to level up. I think these enemies are a little bit too tricky for it. And we may go and level that. In the open fields, in the one of the open areas, I think would be more optimal. But there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we now come to the end 
of another illustrious episode. We don't currently have anything cooking up in the old foundry, but we have got some weapons pre-made. And just to have a check, we have your one day, 14 hours and 9 minutes precisely left on the new vampiric pussy and uh we can't wait to see the vampiric pussy so if you enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up if you disliked it give it a thumbs down i hope you enjoyed this new slightly short content and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out